Today we have a new video. This video is pretty hype. I know you guys are probably excited for this. This is the four best locations to land in Fortnite. These four locations will literally almost guarantee wins. It'll honestly make your life so much easier. So basically it'll make so you start off with better weapons, better loot. So you can just go and you can just kill everybody you see and everybody you come across. So I'm gonna get right into it. These are the four best places to land in Fortnite. Hope you enjoy. And if you do, make sure to like and subscribe because I'm gonna have way more Fortnite content like this coming out soon. So I know a lot of YouTubers drag on whatever they're doing for a long time so they can get 10 minutes or whatever. I'm just gonna try to give you the facts as fast as possible. It might be 10 minutes, might be not but I'm just trying to give you this as fast as possible so then you can have this information and you can get right back to playing Fortnite and slaying, man. So, coming in at our number four spot is called Ice Cream Truck. So, basically, what Ice Cream Truck is, is it is a location outside Wailing Woods. It is a top right circle in the right-hand corner. Basically, this is where you wanna land. At this Ice Cream Truck, it might look like nothing, but there can be anywhere from one to three chests that spawn on that ice cream truck and that starts you off perfectly right away. So right away after you grab those amazing chests, you can go head over to the circle that's right next to it. That is a pair of houses. There are two houses that you and your team can search, two and two, two and the other. And there's also a basement, like a cellar underground area. This is another great location that will most likely also have chests. Right now, I'm not using gameplay. I'm just using a general gameplay, not using gameplay at this specific spot. But if you want to make another video showing all these different spots and my gameplay of it, so you can see exactly how it's done, uh, just make sure to leave a like. And if it gets enough likes, uh, I'll be sure to do that for you guys. So yeah, basically, once you're done that, I'd make sure to look out for the houses around you and all those places around you. You can basically see where the houses are because there may be people in there. If not, you can go and head on up to the other circle that's at the top. And that's just another set of houses that have some great loot in it as well. Or an alternative route. Not many people go to uh, Tomato Town, which is at the bottom of your screen. Once you get there, you can start heading down. There'll be a couple houses on the way. And most of the time, or at least a good amount of time, you can get Tomato Town set up. Or when you come, it almost times it up perfectly like it was meant to happen. That when you're coming over there, they will just be finishing looting. So they'll still be looting a little bit. So if you guys go full sneak mode, you can literally easily kill all four of them if there's a whole squad there and get their loot. And they might have already been facing a squad that was there. You never know. So I would suggest going down to Tomato Town, but if you really are against that idea, you can go up to the other circle at the top of your screen. All right, guys. So this next spot coming in at number three spot is pretty amazing. I actually got this photo from online because someone else has also come up with the idea. So specs out to them too. And basically what you want to do here is you want to land in the red circle. You'll see there's a red circle on top of that mountain, I guess you'd call it. Basically what you can do is you can go grab some loot there and every point that it turns is basically a house. So you want to grab that loot. You can normally get some pretty good loot. There can be a couple chests up there as well. Then you go down, grab those other houses, grab the other houses. And at that point, you're almost at a perfect time for everyone searching Greasy Groove. If they're fighting, they should be done at this point and you can literally just come in like i said with the past one just sneak your way in and get all four of them with ease and if no one is at greasy group which sometimes does happen you can go and even get more loot after that you just want to continue up on the path and there'll be a couple of more houses that you can hit and at that point you're in the perfect spot and you'll be able to get some amazing loot and just be set for the rest of the game I was kind of debating including this one or not, but I think I should because I honestly think it's really great. This is coming in at the number two spot, and this is basically taking advantage of something that's often looked over, and that is Flush Factory. Flush Factory, how many of you actually go there on a regular basis if you really think about it? It's, oh, it's insanely overlooked, which I think is ridiculous because it does have some pretty good loot. So what you do in this strategy is you basically land at Flush Factory. After that, you can go on your way to the bridge. There's a couple houses you can pick up there. Then when you get to the bridge, you cross it, obviously, you get any loot there. And then, like the past ones, it's all about sneaking up on your opponent. And here, you can get up on one of these hills, look down at Fatal Fields. They'll be too busy trying to grab all their loot, being selfish. And you guys will be able to easily pick them off. And as I said, if they're not there, you'll just be able to get all the loot there. I think this is overlooked, uh, an overlooked strategy because it's kind of risky, but if you can pull this off, trust me, you're going to have some scars, golden scars, you're going to have some snipers, you're going to have some amazing loot, I promise you that. And now, coming in at the number one spot 
is this route right here. So this route isn't significantly better than the other ones. I just want to start off by saying that all these routes I'd say are relatively equally good. It was hard for me to make this list because they're all honestly amazing routes, but this one I think is pretty great. So what you want to do is land on the circle, the red circle, in there there'll be a couple houses that have some amazing loot. Next you can go on and follow that route, you can go hit up those houses on top of that mountain or partly on top of the mountain. Go across, there'll be more houses on the way, then hit up that house within the trees, if you're following what I'm saying. Then you just gotta follow this route all the way through. Honestly, I just take a screenshot of all the routes I've said. And once you take a screenshot of the routes that I said, honestly, all you need to do is follow them and look at them just so you know exactly where you're going. Next, same thing, sneak up on the guys at Pleasant Park. You can easily take them out, or if no one's there, or if they've already left. So if they've already left, you're fine. You're not going to get killed. And if they're still there looting, you should be good to kill them. If no one's there, you can just take the loot. So it's basically a win-win-win. Next, you want to keep going to the other mountain. You want to keep going on the route, and then you finish at C4 or at Loot Lake. So you don't actually want to go on to Loot Lake, you want to go to those buildings right before Loot Lake. You'll be able to see them, they're very obvious. And yeah, I think all those spots are pretty amazing. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe because we're a growing channel. We're just trying to get up our, off our feet. If you like this content, make sure to leave a like and comment what other videos you want to do, tips and tricks, because I have a lot of tips and tricks video in, videos in mind that I want to do in the future. And you guys can just voice your opinion of what you guys want to see on my channel. So, hope you enjoyed. Hope you guys can use these spots. And, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. And easy.